Are you always confused by more than less than questions? The good news is, although they might seem a little tricky at first, they are really quite easy to solve if you know the trick. Let's look at a simple example of one such math problem. 5 more than 204 is what? How do we know if we should add or subtract these numbers to find the missing number in the blank? The trick to solve this is to turn this sentence into a math equation. Here's how to do it. First, we need to look for the word is and turn it into an equal sign. Then, we're going to look for the number that comes before the words more than and put a plus sign in front of it. I know what you're thinking. This looks pretty weird. Don't worry, it's going to look like an addition equation very soon. The next thing that we're going to do is to put the other number in front of the plus sign. Do you see what I see? I'm sure all of you can solve this addition equation now, right? What does 204 plus 5 give us? Yes, 209. Let's put this number in the blank. 5 more than 204 is 209. See how changing this English sentence into a mathematical equation makes things easier? Does this also work for a problem like this? 45 is 10 more than what? Let's test it out. What should we look out for first? Yes, let's find the word is. And what should we do to it? Let's change this to an equal sign. What do we do next? We need to look for the number that comes before more than, remember? Let's put a plus sign in front of this. Finally, we need to write this such that it makes sense. How can we turn this into an addition equation? We can put the other number, which is the blank in this case, in front of the plus sign. If this looks strange to you, you can always flip the numbers around to make it look like what you're familiar with. This is what we get when we switch what's on the left with what's on the right. What is the missing number? Let's subtract 10 from 45 to find out. 45 minus 10 is 35. This also means that 45 is 10 more than 35. Good job! Do you think that we can use the same trick to compare numbers for less than questions too?